and welcome to my channel. I have done it again. I took a couple hundred bucks and went on a little Shein shopping spree and I'm going to show you everything that I got. But first, before we get into it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel so you know when I post more videos, and if you like the sound of my voice, uh, if you want to see more uh, shopping hauls, if you want ASMR content, if you want me to do book reviews or anything else, comment below, tell me what I should do next because the only feedback I really have is that people just like listening to me talk. So I'm like, ah, what do I talk about? Okay, moving on. This is actually the first part of the shopping spree. Um, this sweater, not the skirt, the skirt is vintage. I bought it at a thrift store like Fargo. Um, but this sweater and I mean, the color obviously is stunning better than the picture um she and always surprises me honestly like i just looking at everything so far like i am so shocked at just how soft everything is like this is mostly winter clothes but also some skirts like i kind of got a grab bag um but yeah like this color the length of the sleeves that kind of go over like i don't know, always makes me feel very sexy even though it's like winter wear and I'm covered up, I always feel a little bit like sexy, demure, but also like, I don't know, a little stylish when the sleeves come to like this length. And it makes my nails look good. Like I'm showing off my nails, I'm like, look. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me, it makes me feel sexy. I don't know, the littlest fact about women, <laughs> fact about women, the tiniest, tiniest little infinitesimal thing can make us feel just so sexy. So yeah, this sweater has massive sex appeal to me and um, I'm going to be keeping it on probably for most, if not all of this video. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I do have other sweaters to try on, but um, definitely gonna be trying on some more skirts. Um, I've got some dresses that I'm gonna put on top of this. It's gonna be cute, I promise. Come on, what did I say? I said it was gonna be cute. <laughs> I promised it was gonna be cute. Was I wrong? Was I wrong? Um, I am not, I'm a petite gal, obviously. Um, so I don't have this, I don't have like a huge butt or anything, but it does lift up, I feel like quite a lot in the back. If you can see this slant here, um, I feel like it lifts up a lot, which is, I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, I'm gonna be wearing something underneath. I always wear something underneath my skirts because it's kind of windy where I live. Um, I live in a very like mountainous sort of hilly area, like literally out, out my window, I just see hills. And you know, like wind is always whipping around. So I'll be wearing something underneath, some shorts or whatever. Also, what is this? Like, it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly and it just like flute, like a flute sort of shape at the top, which I don't love. Um, but it is winter, um, well, it's fall, but like, this is mostly winter wear that I got, so I'm probably gonna be wearing like sweaters on top of this, and I'm gonna be wearing sort of like leggings and stuff, so that space will fill up, so it won't be so noticeable, but what am I gonna do in the summertime? Like, what is this? And I'm wearing like a, I'm wearing like a crop top. I'm gonna feel like everyone's looking at me, thinking that like, what is that girl doing? What is that skirt? Like, what is that fit? I don't know. Maybe I can get it altered or alter it myself. I've done some of that too, so maybe I can fix it. But shout out to the colors. Shout out to the print. The fabric is really thin, um, but I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I like it, but I want to like it more, if that makes sense. But it is cute from afar, okay? Like, from afar, if you saw me, you'd be like, she's wearing a cute outfit. <laughs> Just don't come any closer and look at that weird... I mean, I'm used to this sort of thing because I am skinny and a lot of clothes kind of do this to me. <laughs> It's fine, it's not fine, but it's fine. I really thought 
I really thought that this was more of a blue, but now that I'm seeing it with the blue, um, this is really more purple, pink, fading into pink, and then, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't look horrible. Um, I don't know if I'd wear these two things together, like, out in the world. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> because of this color, I really don't know what I'm going to wear it with, but I guess... Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I just didn't plan for the. I, it looked blue in the picture. It's. I really do think it's it's more of a, of a purple, right? Um. Or maybe just like a different blue. I don't know. But I still have, this sort of thing here. You know, cause, sizing and, whatever. Um. But I do like. I do like this. I think it's actually better than the last skirt fit wise and just everything wise um by the way if you're hearing some weird noises i have six pets <laughs> i can hear my dog pacing back and forth because he misses me and i can hear my lizard going crazy because he's really really hungry he hasn't eaten in two days which is normally fine normally fine for his like species um but he's hungry now and his food is defrosting and I can hear him and it's making me a little bit self-conscious, so I had to like say something about it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I thought this was blue. It is not, I don't know what it's gonna go with now, but I guess I'll just wear it with like black sweater, black tops, um, maybe something else in this pile um, is also purple when I thought that it was gonna be blue, so. I could get lucky, who knows? But yeah, I think this is, I like. The, I do like the style. It doesn't go up as much as the other one, so yeah, I think I like the skirt definitely better. If you are not um, familiar with me and like my sense of style and my personality, like I feel like this is a good introductory outfit into like who I am and what I'm like. <laughs> Uh, very fun, yet practical, and like cutesy, but like a little edgy. Like, oh my god, like how this material is really thin. Um, as you can see, like you can kind of see colors. In the right lighting, I think it would be see-through. Um, but for now, I don't actually see, I can't actually see anything. Or whatever like it's it looks good um it's definitely for um not for function okay it is 110 percent for fashion um it is it's just cute and thin and lightweight and again i'll be wearing like leggings and stuff because it's i mean there's snow on the ground outside so um yeah i did not get this for function and that's okay um yeah, I'm obsessed with this. This is like, I probably wear like, I got some of these, um, some of these like arm socks and leg warmers, right? So I'd probably like throw on some black arm socks with this and like kind of bunch it up so that it'd be like extra warm. And then maybe throw on like, I have these like, huge boots like I like to do things that are a little bit more I don't want to say the word edgy because edgy maybe is not exactly what I'm going for but maybe like what is the right word oh I could do like a mismatch too I could do like mismatched um leg warmers or mismatched like arm socks like I just really like that whole like I don't know it like makes it a little bit, a little bit more like interesting and cozier and warmer, you know, when you like add a bunch of layers and then I have like these huge pink boots I could do. And yeah, like this is like your introduction into my weird, <laughs> my weird sense of style. Um, I even have, I have pink ones too, in case I wanted to like, I don't know, I think black is probably better though. 
So I've got like these huge pink boots I could wear. I've got big uh, like platform like black boots. Yeah, like just that little bit of like, I don't really know what this style is called, but I feel like there's definitely a word for it. Like there's definitely a word for when you take something cutesy and you just kind of like, like edge it up a little bit, like make it a little bit slouchier or a little bit like more like, I don't know. There has to be, you know what I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna call it main character. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's main character fashion. Uh, but yeah, like I would say this is the base for like a lot of my outfits that I put together. Just like something cute and then I just throw on a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of edgy accessories and weird stuff on top. So yeah. Okay, so this is completely non-glamorous, but very practical. Um, first pair of sweatpants. Like I'm in shock because these are only $15. Um, and the quality, like the thickness, like they're so warm and cozy. If I was just wearing like a base layer, like some like Gymshark leggings underneath this, I could easily go out in 40, 30 degree weather, um, and feel pretty, pretty good, pretty at home. Um, like the inside is like so soft. Appreciate that. They're a little bit baggy. Um, I did get these in the, um, I guess they're like regular sizes. And I got another pair of sweatpants that I'm gonna try on next that are in petite sizes. So we'll see what the comparison is there. Um, yeah, like, as long as the sweatpants make the booty look good, like, um, I'm game. And they're warm. Yeah, this is like very, it's very practical going to check the mail sort of outfit like this is yeah this is me in the wild <laughs> if i'm not doing uh if i'm not actually going out somewhere this is just me like walking the dog yeah these are great these are so thick i'm like actually getting hot in them <laughs> all right moving on to the next crop sweater that i got with that same sort of fuzzy ribbed material um they were different listings, but this is very similar. Uh, the color, I thought it would be more of a pink pink because, but this is more of like a peachy pink, I feel like. It's good though, it's good, I'm fine with that. Um, my whole aesthetic is very pastel goth uh, these days. So yeah, peachy pinks are fine. Not all the pinks have to match. I'm not like, I'm not a stickler about it. Um, I wish you could feel, like I really wish you could feel how how like thick these are. These were also $15. And so this is the petite sizes, which do fit me a little better, less baggy, more, um, more flattering, I guess you could say. Yeah, def definitely more flattering. Um, I wear everything high-waisted. What happens if I bring it down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I guess, like I'm not sure where I'm supposed to wear them, but yeah. If I wear them high-waisted, they fit like perfect. Um, and this sweater is so, it's so soft. It's so warm, like, again, this is, this is like, Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Exactly what I was hoping for, exactly what I wanted. And can't beat the price. Really you can't. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've already gotten my my couple hundred dollars worth. You know why? Because sweatpants are like sixty dollars these days. The inflation, the corporate greed, like everything. <laughs> Everything that has made clothing expensive and everything expensive right now just like pisses me off so much. So when I find something that's like, oh my God, this is actually what I want to wear. And this is actually how warm and like cozy I want to be. I literally would have paid, like anywhere else I would have paid like $200 just for this outfit. So the fact that I got all of this and more that you haven't even seen yet for like 225, it's mind blowing and infuriating at the same time. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm gonna wear this uh, sweater for the next few things, I think. This is, again, like, perfect example of how I want to look every single day. Like, cute and fun, and like, I love everything to be like lighthearted. Like, I like fashion to be light. You know, I like it to be fun. I, I like to wear things that, um, you know, that show off my my playful side. That's the word I'm really, like really looking for. Playful. I like it to be playful. And then when you get up close, it's like, ooh, there's like skulls and like little dead animals. Like there's, <laughs> there's something like a little bit edgier there. And there's something like a little bit like that lets people know that like, oh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sweet all the time. <laughs> There's like a, just a little bit of like edge to let you know. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm adorable. Don't fuck with me. That's what I want my clothing to let other people know. <laughs> oh, my poor lizard. He's making so much noise. Um, yeah, this is super cute. I love, I love this print. I think it's so adorable and fun. And look at him. Oh my God. I love the key too. And all the little bows. I don't know if I would normally go for something like this, but I'm glad I took a chance. I'm really, really glad I took a chance on it. Um, and it's perfect with this sweater. Really, really hoping it would be perfect with this sweater. So, um, yeah, like this is this is my best case scenario. Yeah, this is my best case scenario outfit. Um, I'd probably just throw on like uh, I have some pink fishnets. I have black fishnets. Um, I have an obscene amount of like edgy goth boots. So, um, yeah, any of those are fine or just vans. Like I just throw on vans with this like, it's, and fishnets. Like it's perfect. Yeah. This is exactly how I want to look every single day. Contrary to the last, uh, to the other skirts and the other, um, little overall dresses, this is not thin. This is not like a thin sort of parchment paper type of like material. Um, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a thinner version of corduroy. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but, um, yeah, it's like a, I had to cross these in the back because it didn't fit. Otherwise it, it was like too loose on my shoulders and like hung down a lot. But, um, yeah, first of all, obviously it's fucking adorable, but, um, yeah, it's like kind of like a thicker material, not see-through or doesn't feel like it's going to be see-through. It just feels like traditional um, 70s sort of corduroy, but like ever just like slightly thinner and more wearable and then thicker at the seams. Again, unlike those other ones. So um, I hate to be broken record, but like another winner. I'm shocked, like I keep being shocked at Shein actually giving me things that I, that I want. This makes me want to dance because I just, I just love the movement of it. I can't dance, but it makes me want to, just so I can see it. Whew. Almost went a little bit too high there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just love the movement of it so much. But yeah, I'm, I continue to be shocked at uh, at things that I get from Shein that are so cute and so wearable and fun and affordable and everything. And then just the fact that I'm not really finding that anywhere else. <laughs> Another thing I like to do when the weather is a little chillier, um, you know, it's a classic. I'm a 90s baby. Maybe that's part of it. To me, this is classic. Um, short sleeve shirt on top of a sweater. I don't know if it's just because I'm a 90s kid or if it's actually like a fashion thing. Like, I don't know. But this to me is like, it's cute. It's edgy. It's a little bit on the masculine side because this is just like a super big sort of boyfriend cut shirt so um and I like being a little masculine sometimes I mean it goes with the short hair 
and the super like the petite body flat chested type of thing it just goes with my body type i feel like doing something that's a little bit more like i guess the words masculine and feminine like i don't really like to use them because each individual person chooses what makes them feel masculine or makes them feel feminine but for me this makes me feel like a little bit on the masculine side which i like um because you know i'm not always feminine all the time i'm a little bit of a tomboy most of the time i'm a little bit i'm a little bit country i'm a little bit rock and roll okay i'm just kidding that was a bad joke um no i'm i'm like if i'm in a relationship I'm not always like the meek, girly, feminine, like type, you know what I mean? And um, I think there's something about being with, it depends on who I'm with. Like if I'm with a super masculine person, I kind of will veer on the feminine side, but with, when I'm with like a really feminine person, I will like be more masculine. And that's so weird. I don't know why I'm like that, but um, like I've been in relationships with girls who were more um, kind of just like feminine girly and I literally started to dress different. <laughs> like I literally started to dress different, act different and be a little, a little bit more like, mm, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like something that happens. So I think I just like to have, um, I like to have things in my wardrobe that will give me the freedom to be whoever I want to be and look however I want to look at any point in time, any day of the week, because I could go out with a girl that makes me feel like, mm, you know, like I'm gonna like fight somebody, like, I don't know. And I could want to be cute, but also a little bit more like, hey, I'm the masculine one in this relationship. You gotta probably take it up with me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know why I'm like that, I just am. And this is kind of just, me on one of those days. So this is like, it's cute, but it's, uh, just don't fuck with me. <laughs> Same thing with this. Same thing with this. I don't know what I'd wear on the bottom. Um, maybe like leggings or honestly, a lot of the time I just wear shorts, even though you can't see the shorts, they're there. And I walk around and people are like, Oh my God, are you wearing shorts under that? Like, yes, calm down. Um, but it's just like how I'm comfortable. I guess I just like I just love this graphic so much I think this is so cute especially because um if you don't know me I'm very well known for uh you know my obsession and my strange relationship with my stuffed animals so I love anything with a teddy bear on it um literally anything with a teddy bear on it like this is literally this is me. This is honey vulture in the spring. This is me. <laughs> like, this is what I wear. So, um, and to me, this isn't even super masculine or super feminine, really, but I guess I probably would wear this on more of like a masculine day when I wouldn't, when I would feel more like, don't fuck with me. I'm not cutesy today. Like, I don't know. I guess I just like going back and forth. Something in my brain that just makes me happy. Um, yeah, I remember getting rid of all of my like collared shirts because I was like, they make me look too boyish. And then I just bought a bunch of stuff like this, after, like right after that. I don't know. It's a cycle. It's a cycle that I go through. <laughs> I think that's what being bisexual is for me. It's one day feeling super baby girly and the next day being like, don't fuck with me. Don't look at my curves. I'm just going to hide. I'm just going to hide everything that I think makes me look feminine and yeah, and wear like a skull graphic. That's <laughs> being bisexual is different for everyone. Everyone has a different experience I, or being pansexual, which I think is probably more like what I am, but yeah, I don't know what this style is. I don't know. Help me, <laughs> help me to know what this style is because this is so me like it is so deeply deeply me i'm like this just this two out like two pieces and i'm obsessed like i'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with this outfit it's barely even an outfit i don't care this is this is high fashion to me <laughs>
okay, these leggings are not part of the Shein order. Uh, they are separate. I got them at Doll's Kill, but they are kind of new. Um, and I thought it'd be very cute to show off the next few sweaters with these. I really wasn't sure about this sweater. Um, but now that I see it, it's okay. It's all right. I just don't know if I like having a small chest with a v-neck. But I think if I cinched it here or something like that and kind of made it look, I don't know, a little bit more, a little bit more feminine, I think I would like it more because it's just so boxy. See, sometimes I like boxy. Sometimes I like it, but in a certain, on a certain day of the week, you know, like I could change my mind about liking that. Boxy things will all of a sudden make me feel so ugly, um, especially if it's in between. Like I feel like the V-neck is kind of more feminine, varsity style, um, and the graphic is very cutesy, but then the fit is kind of boxy. So I don't really know how I feel about it, but I know how I feel about these leggings. Love, true love. Maybe the truest love I've ever felt. Like, are you kidding me? That's me. So cute. Love the leggings. Um, don't know how I feel about the sweater, but it does look good with leggings. Like, so it's gonna be fine in the winter. I just don't know how I feel about the um, the cut. Although I will say that my collarbone is one of my favorite um, parts of my body. So. Yeah, I don't love it, love it, but I do know that it does highlight that. So it is flattering in one way or another. Not so bad. I don't 100% know how I feel, but at first glance, it's not that bad at all. Speaking of V-necks, um, wow, this is interesting. It, it looked so good on the model, it already has dog hair on it or cat hair. It's it's, it's one of the two. Um, yeah, I'm constantly picking uh, dog hair, cat hair, or lizard skin off of my clothes because um, I have a menagerie. It goes all the way to the back, too. Like, it wraps around. And God, I love these leggings. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think this is really cute. This is, like, cozy, cute, still feminine, but large. It kind of, like, rides that line that makes me personally feel both feminine and like slouchy devil may care masculine at the same time. And it has that good sleeve length, that good sleeve length that makes me feel like, ooh, ooh, so cozy. Showing off my nails, they look so cute. <laughs> um, and I feel like I could also like, like kind of, like turn it up a little bit to get a little bit more like a little bit less length in the front if that is something that I wanted to do that day so yeah no I love this sweater it's it's interesting it's unique I don't think I've seen anything quite like this in the past um which I appreciate and I have I have some I could belt it if I wanted to and it would look super cute, but I, I honestly think it's kind of just great to just pair it with something tight like this and and be on my way. Um, I'm usually not a fan of turtlenecks either, or even just like faux turtlenecks, like a mock neck like this, but no, I think this is just like very, and it's super warm too. But I think it's just like a really unique sweater that I'm, I'm glad I took a chance on because it's very, um, what is the word? Like casual goth chic in a way. And I'd love to be able to pair it, like maybe I can pair it with something that's like super, super girly. Um, ooh, like my, like my big ass pink boots. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Like this is very much me. <laughs> this is very much, um, I mean, obviously I think I need like some more pink accessories like I love this thing like okay I know this is not a styling video this is just supposed to be me like you know 
just like trying things on, showing you what I bought at Sanitizer. But just real quick, just real quick, I just want to appreciate the versatility of this sweater. And like I said, I'm very like, very pastel goth these days, or like very like e-girl, I don't know. I guess e-girl is actually a pretty good descriptor because it's like, it's edgy and it's cute and it's trendy, but like it's not always super goth. Like, yeah, this is me and I will show you um, my, this is the jacket that I did get from Shein. So like this, this is 100% me and this is what you see when I'm out. <laughs> like I said, like goth, edgy sort of elements with big ass pink boots. I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, right now probably. Um, yeah, this is how I am at the farmer's market. This is um, maybe like Again, I know this is not a styling video, but Yeah, this is how I am at the farmer's market. This is how I am at the pet store uh, Trying to find rats for my lizard like This is this is this is this is very much me. It's it's e-girl, it's goth, it's cutesy kind of. I mean, this is like all like hearts and bows. Like it's not, doesn't fit into the goth thing necessarily, but like it works. Yeah, so yeah, this jacket at Shein, first of all, super fucking warm. I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. It's got the cutest buttons, like, the prettiest buttons and it came with an extra one which is always very thoughtful and it was $45 $45 insane ridiculous truly um but yeah this is like very much very much on your uh style right now and it takes two minutes it takes like two minutes to put this together so yeah i know this is not a styling video but like whatever <laughs> i do what i want it's my channel <laughs> this also works just fine this is like the first item in my Shein cart that I was like, ooh, yeah, that's coming with me. Like, that's coming home with me, 110%. Uh, I'm literally obsessed, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my God. And it's pink, it's a little bit grungier of a pink. Than like the boots it's not super bright or pastel it's kind of like in the middle kind of like just like a grungy i don't like a grayish pink but it is really thick um i'll probably wear one of the thinner sweaters underneath or just like a you know gym wear like basic um what is that called like a jacquard material layer underneath and be good to go in 30 40 degrees Throw the jacket on top if it's like 30 degrees 20 degrees you know what i mean it works as a good layer a good like mid layer that's what i mean to say it's a good middle layer um and it's just like so cute and it'll go with everything else i bought um yeah i'm pretty much obsessed with this it's it's just perfect and then i have one more we're almost done i only have one more to go this sweater definitely fits in with the aesthetic that i like however um, i do have the complaint that it is foxy i will probably um take that wrap thingy and also kind of cut here have it as like a choker I know it will cut off my cute little bunny graphic. It will, cut, it will be like through them, but the, it's okay. I'll still have two bunnies and then um, there's a bunny on the back. So uh, I think, yeah, yeah, there's a bunny on the back. Um, so I won't cut off all my bunnies. Um, 
Yeah, I just think this is a little bit too boxy. I thought it was more, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, you know, hourglass shaped, but that's fine. I can make it hourglass shaped. Um, it's, it's okay. I'm just like, I've got that, you know, having like a petite figure, sometimes it's hard to, to find things to, things fit, but they're not necessarily flattering all the time, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like this sweater, um, but that I'm just like excited to doctor it up a bit. I don't even know if it goes with these boots. I mean, it goes with the aesthetic, but I don't know if it necessarily goes with like the color scheme. Pow! <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I, uh, I think it's going to just take a little bit of extra styling to get it to where I want it to be because it is just kind of boxy and makes me feel a little bit wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I almost said inadequate, but maybe that is what it just makes me feel a little bit inadequate. And if a sweater makes you feel inadequate, like that's a fucking problem. <laughs> it needs to be fixed. So um, I'll probably just add some feminine detailing, maybe like... I don't know. Maybe there's something I can do about the sleeves um, and then just belt it like I did the other sweater. But I don't know if you can tell the layering, like you're not seeing through to the, to like my skin, you're seeing through the knitting to more knitting. So this has like many layers all like put together. So like, this is probably the warmest sweater. Um, yeah, this is this is the warmest sweater that that I got. It's boxy, but um, it's super warm, so it's like a, I'm paying the price. But yeah, so this is the last item. If you watched this entire thing, if um, you are here right now, that is insane. Thank you so so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, please let me know what else you want to see. People always tell me that they love my voice. They want to listen to me talk, um, and I've got some vague ideas for what I want to do. I love doing these clothing hauls for you guys. Um, I would love to do book reviews. I'd love to keep doing ASMR stuff. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you want to see in the comments. Uh, feel free to go to my website where you can find so much more of me and what else? Uh, yeah, like and subscribe, right? That's what they say. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Toodaloo.